Hello and to welcome and, and to welcome back to Tristan channel and today I'll be talking about organism 30 I think it's 36 B has a quick stroll around Oh sorry 46 B organism 46 B this is uh, listed on the internet as a cryptid a cryptid um, and urban legend um, some say it's also a hoax but it's just an interesting story and it and um I think it'd also make a good sci-fi. It'd be like the thing, but with something that's more carnal, more going for something more real. I mean, for example, people, uh, for example, with Jaws, you had a shark, and that sort of, um, people, um, that freaked a lot of people out or made them scared to go in the water because it's like, well, it's a shark. You know, you find one in the water and a kite, so it's something, well, it's, yeah, it's more real than it is something that's, um, I sound like a xenomorph alien thing, you know. What I mean? This I thought was quite good. Uh, if if it's a hoax, it, you know, it'd be good for a story, for a sci-fi like Mimic. You know, instead of except instead of Mimic, you got like um, you know, in, mimicking bugs. You got it's like squid sort of thing. So anyway, let's have a look at this. Yeah, so. When this came, the story first surfaced, it made it to the Daily Express. <clears throat> so, is a, is fourteen legged killer squid? Not sure if they worded that right. Um, is the, is fourteen legged killer squid found two miles beneath Antarctica? Oh, being weaponized by Putin. Okay, I thought the article was about organism. Thing. No, no, I thought it was actually about the story itself. But hey, oh, apparently there's more to it. Okay. A killer giant squid that can hypnotize its prey and paral fireworks. A, ki a killer giant squid that can hypnotize its prey and paralyze its humans at a distance of 150 feet using poisonous venom is being developed as a secret weapon by Va uh, Vladimir Putin, a scientist claim has claimed. And when they said it was a hoax, there's, uh, there's, um, they were saying that the uh, actual scientist guy doesn't exist. Doctor Anton. Paul, Paul Pad, Padlack, Pad, Padalaka claims he was a part of a scientific expedition to a subterranean lake in the Antarctic that discovered the terrifying creature known as Organism 46B. Incidentally, the lake does exist as actually a lake, and they and things they have sent cameras down there. You get very small octopus, octopuses down there and squid like that. But they haven't seen anything like this creature. He said their discovery at Lake Vostok was covered up by Russian officials who are now looking at ways to weaponize and breed the deadly squid with potential devastating effects. I mean, oh, sorry, I did hear about the Putin bit at the end, but, it was a, but I was hoping this article would be about the main story, but which it is going to go, go into it. But yeah, I was thinking, you know, you can make it like a Lovecraft thing where it's like, you know, they take it back and it escapes the tank and mimics it as, as a person. Sorry. <clears throat> Dr. Pal Pada Padalak. But, but, oh, oh, fuck it. Said the squid, which is scaled in freshwater lake, trapped beneath two miles of ice, possessed an array of weapons, and, has resp and was responsible for the deaths of at least two of his scientific colleagues on the expedition. Given, giving details which sounded like a script from a B-movie horror film, he said, We encountered Organism 46B on our first day. It disabled our radio, which we learned to our alarm was intentional. See, this is sound like a Lovecraft story, doesn't it? Um, it is also said to paralyse prey from a distance of up to 150 feet by releasing its venom into the water. Tragically, my colleague and lifelong friend was killed this way. He he tread water wearing a blissful smart. He sorry, he tread water wearing a blissful blissful smile as the organism approached him. We watched helplessly as it used its arms to tear off it. Its arms to tear off its head. Is this a really bad grammar or something? We watched help. It should be. We watched his. We watched helps helplessly as it used its arms to tear off his head. Surely, anyway, his head then popped its popped the remains in its mouth. It was as, as if it was had hypnotized him telepathically. I had to reword there because it just didn't read right in my head. 
The 33 foot long man eater also boasts extraordinary camouflage that helped it stalk the researchers, including shape shifting. Dr. Pad Padalka, Padalka that's it. Um, the shape shifting capabilities of Organism 46b sound almost diabolical. It shaped itself into the form of a human diver. My bad attempt to Russian. We thought it was on one of we thought it was one of our, my colleagues swimming towards us in scuba gear. By the time the closest scientist had realized what it was, it had grabbed him and torn him to bits. He revealed the octopus could also use its tentacles to kill. This is a really bad article, isn't it? Come on, Daily Express, look, you've already just said someone got killed with its tentacles. He revealed the octopus or could also use its tentacles to kill. No shit, he's just ripped someone's head off. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, this has turned in from a cryptid to how bad is this article written? I haven't read this, I just found it and thought, oh, let's, you know. Bloody hell, Daily Express, come on. I mean, it's bad enough I got the name. Okay, I can't pronounce the name because I, I don't speak very good Russian. But Jesus wept. It's like, one, the sentences don't make sense grammatically. And then they also, in the next paragraph, state we sank, uh, sank obvious that we learned in the previous one. It's terrible. Look, Dr. Padalka claimed another of his colleagues were killed by a tentacle many hours after slicing it off with an axe. He said later that night, across the ice, oh, later that night, it slivered across the ice bank and strangled her. After five days battling the animal, the remaining scientists finally trapped Organism 46B in a tank. They brought it to the surface, but were shocked when it was seized by Russian officials who told the waiting international press nothing had been found. Dr. Padalka fled the country and raised the alarm this week after he claimed to have discovered Mr. Puder's plans to use the animal as a military weapon. He warned these plans and had, and any possible plans to breed more of the creatures could be could prove devastating. He said some species of octopus lay 200,000 eggs. Imagine if they were deposited, deposited in reservoirs and lakes across North America. Well... Interesting story. Um, yeah. Also, in the, the story version I heard, which was on the um, creepy pasta, because that's what how ambiguous it is and how unreliable it is as a story of, um, that speaks truth. So it ended up on creepy pasta. But on the creepy pasta version, it was like it, you know, it mimicked one of the divers. It looked like one of the divers, like um, so. Imagine like the insects in mimic where they look like a person, and then it killed him, and then. But apparently he's telepathy, had telepathy as well. But I was reading it, I was thinking, hearing the story, I was like, okay, this is, sounds like it really make a really good film. You can make it to laugh, laugh craft, love craft film, where it's like, you know, it's, it could be a high priest of Cthulhu or something, you know I mean? Or a spawn, you know I mean? It's, there's so much you could do with it that would make it interesting. But yeah, I don't know, what is up with Daily Express? I'll tell you, I'll tell you that, it's like, seriously? I mean, absolutely serious, come on. It could have read right, but the way I read it, it just didn't seem right. So it tore off, you know, because that, like I said, that, that line where I changed it to his head off because it, ugh, yeah, it just didn't, it didn't read right the wording. Um, <clears throat> but then it goes to state the obvious. It's like, we also know that it can kill with its tentacles. No shit. You just told us to rip someone's head off. You know what I mean? So anyway, uh, what do you reckon about... Um, Organism 46, 46B. Okay, sounds interesting. Would make an interesting film, wouldn't it? And also because it's, it's like I mean Meg. I mean Meg is obviously won't have the same effect as Jaws because, as far as we're aware of, Megalodon is extinct. Extinct. I say that you know because I don't like to put things. I've learned never to never to push or tempt the universe because there's going to be you know because there's a lot of the ocean we haven't discovered yet and now in our luck you know what I mean I wouldn't put past squid to find an exotic squid like that I wouldn't say a telepathy though but you know to mimic I mean if it's big enough it could probably you know, sh you know use the, the murkiness of the water plus 
you know what I mean? All that kind of thing. Uh, toxic ink, that wouldn't surprise me. There are some kind of poisonous cephalopods. Is it cephalopods? Sorry, I'm trying to go for my bank of information in my brain. But anyways, yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, again, so... Um, it's an interesting story, isn't it? and like I said, it'd make it a really good film. We could have it like a Lovecraft theme sort of thing. It's like they could bring it back. Yeah, it's kind of like the thing, you know, like the, the thing wanted to escape to go into the civilized world. It would be like that, but obviously, it's not from space, it's from Earth, the ocean. And it's our mistake that unleashes it. You know what I mean? It's been frozen. It nearly had its chance, but nature froze it with uh, the Ice Age and it's stayed in the Antarctic. You know what I mean? And we're the ones that uh, have let it loose, sort of thing. And it, you can have it where it um, does like a Nalifotep number where it changes into a person. So they're trying to hunt it down and he's disguised as a person working his way through, sort of thing. So, I mean, it, well, I mean it's a bit hard. To do. That's the other thing, is how did. That's the thing as well. How did it manage to pull that off as well? Because if it's nearly 40 foot bit long or big, that's quite a tall person. It's like. Did you not go? I mean, yeah, I don't know. It's some of it doesn't make sense. Um, yeah. But like I said, I can understand why it's a hoax, but yeah, if it was a hoax, I mean, for it to make them a paper, especially like the Express, I mean, seriously, but um, yeah, they said it was a hoax and various things like that, but I just want to share it with you because I always liked the story. I thought it would, really, it would make a good film, you know what I mean? Because it's also like, because it's a squid or an octopus or whatever, and it's something that we have already here on this earth. It works on that fear of the ocean, you know, it's fear of the unknown, the fear of the deep, you know what I mean? And I think that could work. And then, obviously, if it's got these strange qualities, you could have a Lovecraft thing in there. It's like the high priest or harbinger that's preparing preparing the way for, you know, for his master's awakening or something like that, you know what I mean? There's all kinds of things that could do with it. Anyway, so let me know what you think about Organism 46B. And if you like this video, hit the like. And if you haven't already, subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any future uploads or updates. Until next time, folks, take care. Bye-bye.